Um, recently, the, I'll take you back to a little bit of politics. Uh, recently, the, the cabinet secretary for devolution, uh, Kiunjuri, um, Mwangi Kiunjuri, is on record uh, saying that, that you on are record against... Saying many things. That, yeah, he's on record saying, now I want to put it mm. to you. He's on record saying that you are arrogant, cost you the Jubilee um, uh, the Jubilee uh, primary. Uh, you know, so what you do you know, think about friend, people subscribe my, to my the friend, same my thoughts friend, as Kiunjuri? What meter has Kiunjuri got of my arrogance? What, what gives him the right? Uh, what is the instrument he has used to get my arrogance? What's his problem? Pilipili usioila anyway. What does it got to do with the politics of Kiambu? <laughs> this is the same things people are rumoring succession. I am not there. I am dealing with my seat as governor now. About succession, we'll deal with it later. So if Kunjuri has issues, uh, he says, I say that he has a lot of methalis uh, problems, yeah? Kikuyu, that uh, you will not govern a country with them. True, you can't govern with them, but when did I say it? And in what context, anyway? Then he says, I admire his pointed shoes. What's wrong with that? <laughs> what's, what's wrong with that? What's yeah. wrong with that? Is it really an insult if I admire how you dress? Honestly speaking. Seriously, he has always been my friend. What's, what's the beef here? Or he'll tell me, ain't no beef. beef. <laughs> ain't no beef, eh? Okay, we have two scenarios here. That's fantasy. We, we, have, we have two scenarios mm -hmm. here. You will either win, or lose. Yes, that's now. That's the game. Now, if you win, what do you plan this, this to has do not draw, for the people this of has not draw. in the next? Uh, if I win, yeah. I got projects that we started that cut across years. We need to complete those projects, and I want to tell the people of Kambu, it's ourselves who will develop our country. It is not by way of rumors and people telling you they will come and do this, they will come and do that. The money that we collect in Kiambu is a money that has made Kiambu very clean. And I dare you from Tuku now, go anywhere in the county of Kiambu. You know, we can do that. Do Don't it, dare. do it. We can do People that. People talk about it. <laughs> Tell guys to send you uh, uh, snapshots of garbage. If you find garbage, it is new. We are awaiting collection in the same day. What will you do to restore the hope? of uh, Kiambu residents who maybe, maybe due to what has been say, has been going on around you, they've yeah, lost no, hope the in you. Danger, what do you do to The restore only hope? danger is the things that these people are doing, the damage they do to the potential growth of this nation without knowing. For example, when you go like the way they took the land at Blue Post and, and, and did a, a, a road in somebody's property, do you know what that has made people think. Good for me in politics because you lose votes by doing that. But what keeps us sane as a country and safe, it is the rule of law, it is order. There are Matatu drivers, I have been saying this for the last two days. There are Matatu drivers who are happy they are using that exit to go and turn a right on a super highway. You know what I mean by turning right? Mm -hmm. Your meeting. On come, on coming on coming vehicles, uh, uh, vehicles. Yeah. but these guys just went and opened can her close they came and demolished can her uh, 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 blocks that are blocking people from turning right so you are happy you're passing through that road I told the Matatu owner one day you will find Waititu Hapo and he'll tell you hey boss leave the Matatu come out you will come out because he has a policeman with him he will get into the matatu and tell you, see you, I'm going to donate this matatu to Kenya School for the Blind, or so and so home. So will you cry then or laugh? <laughs> what is the difference between that time you've taken somebody's land and the taking somebody's matatu, my friend? Rule of law. They knew that we were going to do that road, not even do it the way they're doing it. We were not going to do and turn right. We're just going to exit traffic headed for Nairobi. And that bridge was being financed by ourselves, and, and it, a contract has already been drawn. So the, means, the, the, the businessmen who have given us this money, Mr. they have Governor, come what to it. You, They've yes, come to yeah. us and said, give us back our money. I've given them back their money. So that project, dead. 
So when do we get there again after I'm elected? World Bank UN Habitat is raising with us a hundred million dollars. That's 10 billion shillings for infrastructure development in terms of housing. They now called and said, William, we gotta wait. We gotta wait, we have this thing, we want to wait and see how these things go. What are they talking about? The only country they were trying to help to establish an investments company that will be, handle the portfolio, hundred million dollars, to build cheaper houses for people so that Kenyans can have affordable homes. It has been suspended. Why? They're telling us we want to watch the wave. You know you and me what that means. Yeah, I know. So to I get this county where it was five weeks ago will take me one and a half years. Where it was five weeks ago. So that people can understand it is them that will build. I removed the fees for markets. They say it's politics. They were crying before we are charging a lot. The same group, again, it's me, you know, they don't understand economics. When the president lowered the price of a uh, maize, uh, maize flour, at the same time, we don't have the capacity to deal with maize flour. The only capacity we have is our markets, where people buy vegetables. So we removed the payment of those who deal with vegetables in our markets so that vegetable can be cheaper for Kenyans. The minute they'll afford, you know, maize, we will bring back the sales for markets so that we can continue developing our markets. We're building four new markets. Ithongori, almost done. Limuru, almost done. Dogoto, almost done. A new bus park and the thing is in a, a, a design for Githerai and Rio. All these things require funding. Now you're mentioning several projects. So what I'm trying to tell you yeah. is that when you start exciting Kenyans not to pay, truly in your head, all you're thinking about is your stomach and a seat. Employment. For yourself, to benefit yourself and your family. But you're not thinking about Kenya. You're mentioning several projects. Uh, yes. What will happen if you fail to clinch the seat? Ah. Boss, what will happen to your political touch wood, career? Touch wood. My political career has nothing to do with How many people have been out? Let me tell you. For Kibaki to come, become president, he had to go out. What you call political oblivion, as many would want to say. Sometimes you need to do one step backwards to get a good jump. Uh, my career has, is not dependent today on... on uh, uh, the governor sitting in Kambu. Um, for me, politics is not a career. Let me first uh, say that. This to me is a calling. It's it's not business for me. So if you it's if, a calling. If it happens that you won't win, you can just go. Uh, I will continue with my life, boss. Then you'll bounce back. Remember, maybe 2022 remember, as a, as a remember in two thousand seven, yeah. I increased my vote with sixty percent, and they said I lost. I went to court, I got a petition against the government chief whip, chief whip. The entire government was there and I beat them. 45,000 against 15. So can and I was, can and I was back, back bigger than uh, the and, way he used to be? Let me tell you, Riziki, <laughs> I asked God if really I don't, you don't want me to serve here, show me where else to serve. So can we expect you maybe, calling. you know, uh, it doesn't matter how this will go. I will can win. We expect I will you, win. Can we expect you in, uh, in 2022 gunning for a bigger position? Possible. Don't rule it out. If I do my job in Kambu and do it very well, so that this is the best county to live, work and grow, Kenyans would want me to serve elsewhere. It's a calling, boss, I told you. Do it here well, you'll be able to do it elsewhere. So, so what has but the only thing that is scaring is something I saw in Kameme two, three days ago. What is that? A witchcraft fellow coming from Sudan, South, somewhere in... in, in, in <laughs> Who hired him? In, uh, or listen, to, he, listen to the clip. It was on uh, mainstream. It was not in Tuko. Mainstream. Mm. Uh, mainstream, probably, uh, yes, Kameme. Let me stop going. Kameme, Kameme TV, I think. And the guy says, Mimi, inshallah, it will happen. Mimi, it will happen. What is Yasa? 
Ndio wananipia nauli, wananipia hoteli, manyumba mzuri naishi. You don't do eh, such kind of things. Let me tell you, then he says nimetembea kwingi, nilitembea Kirinyaga, nilitembea Kiambu, nilitembea Nairobi sijui na wapi na wale wote niliwasaidia wamepata makaratasi yao. Let me tell you. <laughs> let me tell you. Let me tell you mimi sikupata makaratasi yoyote. Kwa hivyo, so you kwa hivyo sio mimi. <laughs> <laughs> sio mimi. Hey. Uh, uh, Shetani. Yeah. <laughs> Very bad. You know, alafu anaoneshana vifaa vitu vingi sijui ma skeleton na nini zimejaa kila mahali. Anapiga piga makengele, alafu anacheka na You've never gone through this Never ever. Never. I am yeah. I am telling you mimi nimezingirwa na damu ya Yesu. Yeah. Yeah. Na hata ukaniambia kiti ya president kabogo chukua ndio ile. Chukua ndio hii na inakuja kwa njia ya uchawi na kwambia kwa jina la Mwenyezi Mungu siwezi kuza. So t- tell me about uh, those things you do when you're not politic. No, we one, don't want to see this. One, one I, I am a good sports fellow. I do a lot of gymming. Uh, not necessarily to build muscle. Just to relax. Relax, you know, so get fit. You, you know also releasing a lot of sweat, you release the salt in the system. And that reduces stress. Of course, uh, what time uh, do you go for gym? In morning? If evening. I miss morning, I do evening. If I miss two days, then it gets lazy. I have to do an hour. Mm. But otherwise, 20, 30 minutes are enough. One must get fit. Uh, it's important. <laughs> uh, for you to be mentally fit, you have to be physically very fit. So apart from gym? Uh, well, you know I do biking, eh? Yeah, I, I was yes, told actually in yes. the office. I was in the office. Then I asked I, someone, I do, do you know what Kavoko do does when he's up and told kawas- me biking? Uh, Kawasaki now and, and uh, of late. I haven't been riding because uh, too many accidents. Where, where do you do the biking? In uh, Kenya here? In, in Kambu is the best you... place to ride, you know, the tea growing area. So, you, you know, there is you, tea is till, till about a meter. And you're biking over one and a half meter, so you're cool. It's, it's really nice. I also fly. Uh, I'm a pilot. Oh, you do? Yes, I fly. Wow. Do you have some photos you send us? Oh, yes, many. Plenty. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yes, I've got over 500 hours. You do, you do helicopters? On, yeah. Yes, helicopter. I have over 500 hours of self-flying, captain. Um, of course, you know I like uh, uh, collecting some old cars that look nice. Yeah. Uh, yeah you go around cars. the world. Yes, and <laughs> just collect. That's one of the things that I do also. Then I play a lot of golf when I have a chance. Uh, of course, the last few months I haven't played. Do you, do you watch football? I, I watch football. I'm, what, I'm which Barcelona. team do you? Barcelona is my team. Oh, me too. Yeah. Uh, that's me too. My they're, they're, they're that's, the same. <laughs> that is my team. Because yeah. that's the best team actually in well, the world. I do like Barcelona that much. Oh, this time man. we didn't do Scientific well. soccer. Yeah. And by the way, a friend of mine has just sent his kid to Barcelona. And he's been picked in the junior team. Hmm. Uh, one of the good friends we have here in Nairobi. Yes. And he's not gone alone. He's gone with kids from the slums. Oh. Two kids from Malaria. He picked them and put them in an academy here. So maybe at some point we might see our very own You will own see playing. our very own playing for the main, main, main team. What, what do you think is wrong with Barcelona? You know, uh, this time we haven't... We, we've only it's t- just, uh, picked the It's just one of those times you have to Copa accept that. You don't win all the time. Uh, but uh, it's said to be the best team in the world in terms of soccer. You know, very entertaining. Actually, I agree with you there. They actually say <laughs> those boys can play with their eyes blindfolded <laughs> because as they walk, they know the sound of the ball. Yeah. They know that that is on the left, and it will be getting to you in the you know scientific. And, and I think that is why that is why when they are playing with Real Madrid, there is no time you'll ever see such kind of true. football. Very true. Nowhere in the world. Very true. Those people play. So El that's Clasico why it's my team. Best. But you yeah. know, because of family pressure, when they also. I'm a new and Arsenal are playing. There is more Arsenal in the house than yeah. Manu. So if you are supporting <laughs> Manu, you, you keep quiet. Yeah. So in, um, in the English Premier League, which you do, which uh, which will be support? You know, I <laughs> difficult, but uh, I say Liverpool. Oh, Liverpool. Yes, that's, yeah. that's a team I, I find quite quite good, although they they haven't been doing very well. Oh, but this team they're doing quite yeah, well. Yeah, so I so far so good. Let's see what happens. Number three, number three is good. That's enough. that's all right. But yeah. always, you know, from where I come from, number one is what you need to know. <laughs> uh, we don't do number two. Utambu is number, number one. <laughs>
<laughs> All also right, uh, on things like uh, music, you know. Yeah. Yeah. I what love, kind of I love music? Yeah. To music. Like to it depends on when, uh, the time. But uh, you will find that I have piped to music myself. It may sound expensive, but it's not. Mm -hmm. uh, and again, with availability now of music, uh, uh, you know, streaming uh, live, if you have Wi-Fi connectivity. You will get free music. Do, do you you don't a, need to buy anything. Do, do you have a favorite uh, Kenyan musician, for example? Uh, they come and go. Of course, we have our own musicians from where I come from. Yeah, the Mogibi, like, yes, you yes, know, yes, my yes. crew and the rest. Yes, uh, not really. My, um, yeah, those guys. Yeah. <laughs> uh, then we, I like Rumba. Oh, you like Rumba? Sana. Uh, yes. You, Although you. Tanzanians beat us on. <laughs> On Rumba, you, oh, you yes, find them better, Tanzanian, better than us. Very, very good. Uh. good. Tanzanians are good. So you go somewhere, you know, also and just guys have copied Sana hip hop, those yeah. things. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they are drawing us to their style. Yeah. But you know, they are saying, you know, 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 you Oh, you love they the vocals. Are, oh, I like them too. Uh, they are the best. The vocals are good. They are the best. Yeah, when they perform live. So they wherever they are performing live, I always try and make sure mm. I find time uh, to go see them. Also touring our country. Mm. You know, there are many people who have nothing to do with tourism. You're a Kenyan and maybe you don't even know how many animals we have and where they are. Yeah. So I travel a lot. When we I just within time, Kenya, you, yeah, know, you move around. Yeah. Yeah. Can you imagine how many British Jamaas know our country better than better ourselves? Than we do. Yes. <laughs> yeah. If I tell you, I'm sorry, you start thinking. They, they always encourage us to do yes. more domestic Ooh. tourism. You know, we Actually, do sometimes, uh, I remember when I was living in Mombasa, we used to book safari from Germany. When these Jamaas land in the plane in Mombasa, you, you join you, them. You join them. Because you pay less. Uh -huh. Yeah, Kenyan would pay almost a hundred thousand shillings. These guys were paying like sixty thousand shillings, bed, breakfast, and uh, you know, trip to Mara and back. So it's good to tour. Now. Thank you very much. The next Mr. time you're in town, yes. come and tour, Campbell. Yeah, we, we, we've we, got stuff. We definitely we've will. Got stuff. Asante, sana. It's a pleasure. Aye.